Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. He is risen! It's so exciting that Easter's coming, and I'm so thankful that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. For us, it's the biggest holiday of the year. So if someone says to you this Easter, He is risen, you respond back and say, He is risen indeed. And I don't know where y'all go to church, but if you're in our area and you need a place to go to church, it is okay if you've never been to church in your life. I'm going to show this little <laughs> invitation at the end. Isn't it adorable? It's uh, happy and it says, bring your peeps to Easter Sunday. I was telling a friend in the grocery store the other day, I was inviting her to Easter Sunday church. And I said, listen, if you don't go, we are still friends. If you go and you don't like it, we are still friends. I like to think I'm the no pressure friend. I aspire to be that. Life's got enough pressure without me pressuring you. But if you do want to go to a service on Easter or Good Friday, I'm going to give information at the end in case you're around here and you want to come. And speaking of Easter, we're going to make today such a fun, yummy, easy snack that coincides with the empty tomb on Sunday. Today we're going to make easy Easter empty tomb rolls. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. I love alliteration. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Russo and Miss Corden. <laughs> Let me show you what you'll need. Crescent rolls, marshmallows, butter, sugar, cinnamon. For the icing, powdered sugar, vanilla, and milk. Hey y'all, I'm so excited about Easter. Are y'all so excited about Easter? And I wanted to make this show before so you had a chance to prepare like I always do for holidays. And for us, this is the biggest holiday there is. And there are a lot of things you can do to celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. There are resurrection eggs, and I know at Family Life you used to be able to order them, but I think you can find them online anywhere now, and you can make your own, and it's so much fun, and you just use plastic eggs and just an egg carton, and each one has a meaning and a story. You can find it all online. Also, my sweet sister, Hadu, she has the most beautiful home and tablescape for Easter, and she collabed with a company called Lemon Drops and Lilies, and she got the names of Jesus to use in her tablescape for Easter, and I was like, I gotta have those. <laughs> and at Heather Bug Lane, you get a discount. Who doesn't want a discount? <laughs> I want a discount. Boy, Lemon Drops and Lilies really pack these well, so I'm still kind of opening them. But look, they're just made out of wood. Look, Christ, Jehovah, Anyway, if you want to put these on your Easter table, it's on one of her posts on Instagram on Heatherbug Lane. So y'all go there and these are really cool. I'd be interested to know how y'all celebrate Easter and the things you do and the traditions and things like that. We'll have all the kids home except for my sweet son love burger who will be competing in South Africa. We will miss him, but we're cheering him on from the States. <laughs> Let's get started. Y'all just get your cookie sheet and put some parchment on there. Then you just get your good old crescent roll dough. And I know there are some people who get kind of anxious about this popping open and y'all know how much I love it. It's so much fun. So I'm waiting for the pop. Nope. Okay, so now super fun part. <laughs> I love doing that. It will never get old. Okay, just take these out and undo them into triangles on your parchment paper. You have your triangles on your parchment and you need to melt one stick of butter in a little bowl. While we were waiting for that butter to melt, just get a bowl and we're gonna put a cup of sugar and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And y'all, in this the cutest bowl, it's pink. <laughs> Got it from Home Goods. It came with like a little spoon on there and I was like, that is adorable. <laughs> Y'all, I have to say this. It is snowing outside. <laughs> it was blowing like the Dickens this morning. I thought we were in a dust bowl and now it's snowing. I might have to go video. <laughs> Living in Nebraska is so exciting. You just never know what weather you're going to get. <laughs> Speaking of snow, sugar, here we go. Okay, so sugar. Ooh. <laughs> Do y'all ever pour sugar and it's like, do y'all see that on camera? It is a dust cloud of sugar. Oh my goodness. Then cinnamon. We're just going to mix our cinnamon and sugar. And I'm using this little adorable whisk I got from Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> All right, this is ready. This is our butter. And I've just melted a stick of it. 
I think glass bowls are super cool, except for they show everything. So like the butter splashed up and it's, it's all on the edges, no big deal. So I'm gonna get my marshmallows, my large bag. You don't want your butter too hot because you're gonna be dunking your hands in it and we don't want any burns, <laughs> safety first. So take your marshmallow and dunk it in the butter. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, then you put it, do y'all see? You put it in your cinnamon sugar. Oh, that's super fun. Then you put it on a triangle. There we go. I'm gonna take the edges and wrap them around the marshmallow and try to pinch the edges. Okay, so kinda gotta, kinda roll it. See? You wanna make sure to get all of those edges pinched because you don't want any marshmallow to escape when it's cooking. And it kind of has an odd shape. No worries, you can keep it like that. Or just kind of tuck them over so it's kind of round. Up to you. Rick and I got to go to Israel a couple of years ago, the Holy Land. It was incredible. We got to see the tomb. We actually saw two places. One of them was it. <laughs> We had to decide which one was it, but we, we feel like we saw the tomb where Jesus was buried, so that was awesome. So cool. <laughs> of course, he's not there. He wasn't there on Sunday, hence the empty tomb. Y'all could read the story of the empty tomb if y'all wanted to from the Bible this Easter. Add it to your Easter traditions. I remember years ago in church, we did a skit, and I was Mary Magdalene, and it was really fun. I got to wear the full thing, and it was great. Never underestimate the power of a skit. Okay, they're ready to go into your 375 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. And then let's dance. Also, they're still in the oven, and so I'm gonna whip up a little bit of icing to drizzle on top. I have always made these with icing on top. I know some people don't do that, but you can still show that it's the empty tomb and enjoy the drizzled icing on top. <laughs> I think God thinks that's okay. I always wonder what foods will be at the wedding feast of the lamb in heaven. You wonder? <laughs> I think about that a lot. <laughs> in order to whip up this icing, I'm just gonna add some powdered sugar, a couple of cups. Woo! If you have leftover drizzled icing, that's a win. You can put it on anything. <laughs> Maybe not steak. Wait, I mean, I'm game. <laughs> We're gonna add some vanilla. This is a new bottle of vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. Got it at TJ Maxx, of course. We'll put about a teaspoon in. And then a little milk, and y'all know, I take every opportunity to use these tea sets because they're so cute, so adorable. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be ambidextrous by the time this is over. <laughs> then we're just gonna whisk it. I need a little more milk. If Rick were home, I would have him whisk this because he's so strong, and I mean, why not use your resources? <laughs> My friend Amy, who owns a gym, she would probably approve of this exercise. <laughs> That's about perfect, see? I mean, that's, that's good drizzling icing. Okay, I took these out of the oven and they smell so good. Um, some of them, the marshmallow escaped, no worries. You'll have to work on sealing up your <laughs> crescent rolls a little bit better than I did, but still they're gonna be great. Okay, here is our easy Easter empty tomb roll. <laughs> and Friday, they put Jesus' body in the tomb. And then on Sunday, Better get a knife to open that tomb. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. And there it is. The empty tomb. He is risen. And on a shallow note, let's drizzle some icing on there. Oh. Well, he is risen, folks. He is risen indeed. Thanks for making easy Easter empty tomb rolls with me today. And I hope you know our risen Lord Jesus. Y'all have a wonderful Easter and a wonderful week. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.